Hey everyone, uh, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3.1.4 frame generation video. This is a Stellar Blade. Actually, this is not the full game. This is the demo of Stellar Blade, which is free on Steam right now. You can download and try. And uh, this game does come with the frame generation, episode 3 frame generation, but that is only tied up to episode 3 upscaler. Uh, right now, I have not installed the mod and um, playing it on 1080p with the graphics preset set on medium like everything is on medium here and fps i'm getting around is 70 60 to 70 fps uh, if you go to the setting again then graphics if you come down here you can check it has fps 3 frame generation but that is locked right now because i am using the dlss 4 upscaler as soon as I switch to FSR 3 upscaler, uh, I will be able to use the FSR 3 frame generation. But that is not the point because uh, we want to use any kind of upscaler with the frame generation. Along with that, uh, this game also comes with NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. I will also be showing these two. So the video is going to be divided into the two parts. First is the OptiFG and second is the DLSS frame generation part. So this is going to be a very interesting video. Let's start this one now. Okay, so after quitting the game, uh, first I will show you the OptiFG. After that, I will show you the DLSS FG. So this is the Opti mod. Uh, I'm going to extract it on the desktop. I have already uh, set up and tweaked the file. All you need to do is write the OptiFG in the file and uh, go back in the game. So you need to open the file location of the game. You can go to Steam, then right click, click on Manage and go to Browse Local Files. After that, you're gonna go inside SB binaries win64 paste the mod right here and uh, you need to double click on the opticscaler.ini or open it with any kind of notepad editor uh, then in the fg type type in opti fg then click on file click on save and then you might want to run the nvidia signature override click on yes ok and after that, we are gonna go back in the game. Get a Stellar Blade at just 299 rupees or just 3.5 US dollars. Get a standard edition game pass including games from all MS store starting at just 749 rupees. And get game pass ultimate edition including all the games from UBI Soft, EA Play and Call of Duty and many many more starting at just 1499 rupees. Okay, I'm back in the game and in this uh, mod you can use any kind of uh, input you want. So if you head to the setting then graphics, you can use either FSR 3 or DLSS. Both input will work with the frame generation and code fix. So I'm going to try the FSR 3 just for this video's sake. Uh, I have activated the FSR 3 upscaler. Now I'll press INS slash insert on the keyboard. This menu will open up. I'll click uh, FG active and code fix. I'll hide the MSI afterburner overlay because it messes up with the hood. I'll activate the Opti FG, the Opti overlay and the NVIDIA overlay also. But NVIDIA is having some issues showing the FPS numbers. So yeah, you have to uh, work with the Opti overlay. And you can check the FPS has now boosted to 130 and 40. If you want to check the debug view, you can check also. You can click the debug view and you can see the right bottom corner is uh, with the hood and the center bottom one is without the hood so the opti fg is working fine now i'll quit the game and i'll show you how you can install that dlss fg so in order to uh, make the dlss fg work we're gonna go to the same installation directory manage browse local files sb binaries win64 uh, now in here you need to drag this uh, dlss to fsa3 dll and uh, you need to open the opticscaler.ini again and in this optfg section delete it and type in n u k e m s new games like from here new games and then click on file click on save now you might need to restart the game again uh, if you want to act actually use the dlss fg because i'll show you once i boot in the game okay i'm back inside the game again so i'm going to the setting to activate the DLSS FG. Now you might need the NB API if you are on AMD GPU. That's on the description. Download that NB API DLL and paste if you have uh, AMD GPU and you cannot see the in-game DLSS. So go to graphics, 
and uh, from here you need to select TLSS and scroll down here you will see frame generation has come now online you need to select X2 it will show you that you need to restart a game once so yeah I'm going to restart the game real quick okay I'm back in the game and I think the frame generation is working because the PS is now around 100 and 10 to 12 uh, previously it was around 80 but let me check again setting graphics scroll down here yeah. the fg is activated and i'll check from here okay the current dlss state is on dlss g state is on means the frame is working fine uh, now there is not much difference i have noticed in this dlss fg mode compared to opti fg Maybe I'll uh, put a side-by-side -side comparison video later on the channel uh, with FSR FG and DLSS FG but yeah for me both are working fine you try on your own which one see which one works fine for you and uh, so yeah this will be it for this video I guess uh, now if this video helps you consider uh, subscribing to the channel I'm bringing new mod video every day uh, if you're facing any issue join discord or uh, comment down below what issue you are facing uh, also join discord for cheap games netflix subscription and everything and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers now